Guys, we've all probably seen or battled the Titan in Prodigy, but do you guys wonder what the origin story of the Titan is? Do you guys wonder where the Titan came from in Prodigy and how? Well, in today's video, I'm telling you guys all of the information which you need to know about the Titan in Prodigy. So without further ado, let's get straight into our video. Now the Titan was added to Prodigy in the year 2018 and it's been in Prodigy since And now guys before we start telling you guys about the Titan I'd like to tell you guys about my new gaming channel which I started It's called One Doctor Genius Gaming and on this gaming channel I basically post only quality gaming videos And sometimes if you guys want to be in one of my quality gaming videos Now the first thing which you'll need to know is that the Titan is a boss created by the Puppet Master Because we all can see the Shadow Elements and the Shadow Cross which the Titan, which the Puppet Master uses over it. Now, because it's created by the Shadow Element, it has a special move called the Royal Roar. Alright guys, so the Titan resembles a mythical constructed Mandacore, a beast from Eurasian myth created in the likeness of Mansacore, but made by magic instead of being summoned or born. Now, this basically resembles a Mandacore in many ways. Right, so basically, Mandacores have body base of a Liger, battery dragon wings, and scorpion stinger tails, along with a quilt feathery or furry mane, and etc. Now, the Titan found in Prodigy displays all of these traits except for the battery wings. So, as you guys can see, the Titan is, is resembling pretty closely to towards the Mandacore. Now guys, first of all, we need to talk about how many Titan Shards you earn per battle. So if you're a non-member and you battle the Titan, well, you're gonna be earning one Battle Shard per Titan if you click on the Titan itself. Right, so you earn one Titan Shard per battle. Now, if you're a member and you use the Catapult, you can get two Titan Shards per battle. And now, if you use a team battle with three different people, you can earn up to five Titan Shards per battle, which is kind of ridiculous, but still, it works pretty well. Right, so basically this is the amount of titan shards which you guys can earn from a battle. But you guys are here to learn about the history of this. So let's get straight to that. Now as you guys may know that the titan only has three elements currently known to us in Prodigy. The titan has the water element, the plant element, and the fire element. We have seen all three varieties of this and it seems to appear in between Firefly Forest, Shipwreck Shore, and Bonfire Spire. So basically, this is some of the things about the Titan. Now, the Titan hasn't made its appearance in our Skywatch and Shiverchill Mountain, or not yet. We don't know if Prodigy is going to add them. I mean, Crystal Caverns is already in Shiverchill Mountain, so maybe they'll add it to Skywatch, or maybe they're planning something else. But right now, let's talk about what happens during battles. Now, during battles, the Titan is basically protected by a barrier around him. So right, if we head into battle over here, as you guys can see up over here it says Titan Barrier and then over here it has a shield. Now this shield can be found all over Prodigy and it's most famously found in Crystal Caverns against the battle against the Grumpy Yeti. Right, so basically this shield is sort of like a barrier from attacking the actual Titan where we have to break the barrier first before we can start attacking the Titan. Right, so now the Titan has a protective barrier around him making it so that everybody in Prodigy has to destroy the barrier before the actual Titan can be damaged. In a battle, the Titan is the same level and has health a little bit higher, about 4000 higher than what your wizard has. So over here you guys can see my wizard is at 12,000 health. So now if you look over here you guys can see that the Titan has approximately 3600 more health than I do. So this pattern basically follows its way around Prodigy. So the Titan will always be the same level as you are but will have like a variety of health more than you do. In this case that is 3600 more health. And now, so when you defeat the Titan or break the Titan barrier, you guys can see that that blue animation pops up and we do 9000 damage. Now once you guys defeat that, you guys will receive your Titan shorts. Now Titan shards are the currency you earn after defeating the Titan. These Titan shards can be exchanged with Harvey after defeating the Titan a couple of times. If you get more Titan shards then you guys can be able to trade more expensive stuff with Harvey. Now, now Harvey over here is a merchant who sells you back armor and house decorations for the Titan shards. So over here you guys can see you can click on him and he tells us to battle the Titan to earn Titan shards. Win a bunch of battles against the Titan shards and wizards around the world and as you guys can see Harvey's shop is pretty cool. I mean over here we have some of the hardest to obtain gear in Prodigy. You'd have to battle the Titan at least a couple hundred times just to get these gear sets, right? So in order to earn these gear sets, you may need to end up ba battling the Titan at least 30 times, right? 
you guys will end up needing to battle the titan somewhat almost 30 times. Now, so as you guys can tell, it's pretty hard to get all of the gear over here in Harvey's shop, but I have gotten some of it, right? Now that's all of the information about Harvey, let's go over the in-game description. Right? Shards broken off a titan created by the Order of the Influence can be given to a floatling to have its shadow magic removed from it in exchange for rare items. Alright, so it seems like that we can exchange the fallen shards from this guy, give it to a floatling, and have the shadow magic removed. So does this mean that the floatlings are capable of taking shadow magic away? And if the floatlings are capable of taking shadow magic away, why don't they just take it from the puppet master? I mean, these guys can extract it out from the titan. Right, so not only that, I gave you guys a look over over Harvey's shop, and you guys can tell he has a lot of armor sets in the game, which looks pretty cool if you guys ask me. Now, so what I covered was the solo battling version in Prodigy. Now, the next thing which is there is we have team battles. So guys, basically in Prodigy, in order to start a team battle, what you guys will need is you guys will need a team of two people or more, right? Now, in order to start a team battle, you guys will need to click on the crystal and start it. So let me just quickly get a second Prodigy count up. Alright guys, so over here, we're gonna create a team, and now if we head over to team battle, as you guys can see, someone over here has started a team. So now, basically, what you guys end up doing is you have to end up waiting for the other person to start the team. Now, the other person's screen may look like this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click the start battle, and as you guys can see, we end up in a titan battle. Now, over here, you guys have anywhere from 2 to 3 teams. Now, what I'm gonna show you guys is you have to click on the crystal to cast your spell. Let's suppose that you end up casting your spell wrong. Well, what happens? Well, what happens is that you guys end up not casting your spell, which actually misses. And now, what happens here is that the crystal does something interesting in the game. Right now, guys, do remember that this feature was added into Prodigy on the 21st of 2019. So now, in the battle mechanics, here's a list of things what happens. So, I basically showed you guys what happens here. Now, each person in the team shares, shares the five hearts over here. So now if you guys look up in this titan battle, you guys can see that we have 5 hearts. So now these two people are sharing these 5 hearts in the battle, while the titan is sharing these 12. Right, and as you guys can tell, we have 5 hearts while the titan has 10. So basically each person would have to do 2 hearts of damage so that we could end up winning the battle. Now let's leave out more information. Now when we cast spells by clicking on the crystal, the spell ends up becoming a fire spell when we cast it on the plant titan. Now when we cast a spell through the crystal on a water type pet, it ends up becoming an earth plant spell. And when we cast it on a fire pet, it becomes a water type spell. So as you guys saw in that spell attack which we did, the titan had an attack animation in which we attacked it with any type of fire spell. So for example, if you're battling the plant titans, um, your spells can be anything of fireball, embers, combustion, charclone, wildfire, or volcano. So any of these spells can be casted on the titan by clicking on the crystal. So now what happens is, if you guys end up answering your question wrong, you will still cast your spell, but you will end up missing it over here, as you guys can see. Now once again, the power of the crystal, or how powerful the crystal is, only changes what the further you proceed on into your battle. So now what I'm quickly gonna do is I'm just gonna like let my other count update quickly. So now this is what you guys see on your other screen over here if you just let the battle continue. As you guys can see over here, it basically does this stuff and tries to update every single time. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the battle crystal button on this account. And now I'm gonna click on this on this account. So let's make this big and show you guys what happens. Now so if you're battling the water titan now, the spells which you may end up casting can be Spark Spear, Fungi Fling, Static Shock or Strawberry Shrike, um, Shockwave or Leaf Swarm, Storms Coming, Kapow Cabbage, Ion Cannon which, or Force Hurricane, or in other words, Unlimited Power or Overgrowth. And then if you're battling a Fire Titan, you guys will end up casting a spell Water Burst, Bubble Barge, Aquasphere, Down Portal, along with Torrento and Splashdown. So now, in Prodigy, when you guys end up casting a spell in Prodigy, where all three of your Prodigy team members pitch in together to attack the Titan, well, that's called as a co-op attack. And now, in this attack, what happens is it doesn't look like an actual, it doesn't look like any elemental spell. It looks like that the team members have gotten together and casted an astral-type spell. 
Now if you guys end up missing the battle, what happens is that as you guys can see, we miss and it turns out that the titan attacks us every time we miss. So basically you guys have to not miss a spell or else you'll end up dying. So now guys, and the next thing which happens is, what happens if we lose all of our hearts in team battles? Alright, so we have become very close to answering our question wrong, and now the titan can ca Now, the titan can cast all every single spell in Prodigy. Now, as far as we know, the titan can cast three different movesets in Prodigy. Now, these movesets include... Drumroll please, Water, Plants, and Fire Spells. Now, these are all of the spells which all every single monster can cast. In addition to that, it also has Royal Roar. Right guys, so that's basically most of the game and battle mechanics which you guys need to know about the Titan. So now, over here, I'm quickly gonna like just answer this question wrong, and you guys will see the losing animation. Alright here, as you guys can see, I've answered my question wrong, and now we cast our spell on the Titan, which ends up missing. So now the Titan doesn't cast this spell on us, but now what we're gonna do is we're gonna miss another spell in Prodigy. So basically this should upset the Titan enough to allow the Titan to cast a spell on us. Alright guys, so here you go. As you guys can see, I end up answering my question wrong. And now we miss our attack on the Titan. Now the Titan casts its spell which shows miss on us because we're still on our last heart. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep on trying this. Alright guys, so I've answered the question wrong on this one. Now you guys will see over here that it basically shows us every single time our character misses on the Titan. Now you guys will see on the side over here the Titan only attacks when we end up missing it sometimes, and that too rarely. So now guys, we end up casting the spell and it seems like our opponent casts his spell and he ends up missing. So now the Titan casts his spell on us and he does his damage. Now as you guys saw, the damage did it and it basically broke the crystal. Now once the crystal breaks, as you guys saw, two late appears up on the screen and we get our reward for answering the question. Now while doing this battle, if you guys end up losing, you guys can get a maximum of 1 crystal for losing and up to 0 actually. So now let's talk about the trivia about the Titan. So in battle, when the Titan barrier is defeated, it plays it plays Titan hit instead of U1 because this is a Titan barrier battle and not a wizard battle. So now, once all of the Titan's hearts are gone and you cast a spell, it ends up doing 9999 damage. In this case, it's believed that this may be like a damage multiplier to make it easier for wizards to defeat the Titan in the game. The catapult was added to Prodigy and basically this catapult allows you to get two Titan shards but we do not know whether or not this catapult does more damage than your wizard. So we will figure out if the catapult does more damage than your wizard. Now even if you go onto the catapult, it basically puts you up in a battle against the Titan where you have to end up doing the battle and then it sends a catapult. Now it's unknown whether or not this um, catapult ends up doing more damage than your wizard or anything else. Now the maximum of titan shards which you guys can earn from battle ranges between 4 and 5 but I've seen it reach 5. So now as you guys know there is a catapult in Prodigy so Prodigy was gonna make it that if all of the members of your team had a membership in Prodigy what would happen is you guys would actually use the catapult to attack the titan instead but it seems like that the Prodigy team forgot it or didn't add it for whatever reason so now we can't do that. Alright guys, so another thing which you may have noticed is that we cannot use our all out attack button or any other spell when we're doing team battles. Well, the reason behind this may be that we're basically casting our astral type spells into a crystal which is amplifying them into different powers, Or so this basically may show why we're not able to see our energy charge go or on the top. Now another thing is when, we're, when the titan is officially needed, we get rewards on based on how many things we've battled it. So based on how many times you've battled with Titan, you can get rewards of 10 Titans, you can get a reward of 10, 30, 60, or 100 extra Titan shorts. So basically, you're rewarded for the battles which you do against the Titan. Now, another thing is you guys must be a power level 8 in order to battle the Titan. And unfortunately, right now in Prodigy, there are no worlds after the Titan, but maybe there will be some, maybe there won't. Now guys, so basically, that's all the information I have for you guys on the Titan as of right now. Maybe Prodigy will add some new updates to the Titan, but unfortunately guys, that's all of the information which I know about the Titan for now. And until I figure out new information, there won't be another update video telling you guys about the origins of the Titan. But if you guys did enjoy this video, well I'd recommend you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up. And now guys, before we start telling you guys about the Titan, I'd like to tell you guys about my new gaming channel which I started. It's called One Doctor Genius Gaming and on this gaming channel I basically post only quality gaming videos and sometimes if you guys want to be in one of my 
quality gaming videos, you guys can message me on Discord and you guys have a chance of being in some of my gaming videos. Now, my videos may include collabs with other other YouTubers who used to play Prodigy, like Prodigy Math Pirate. Here's a quick cool clip from it from one of my recent videos. Alright guys, so that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a like, thumbs up. And I will be catching you all next time. Fun Doctor Genius out the house. Bye, have a good time.